Sheila was the driving force behind opening a Scottsboro Boys Museum. Sheila was the driving force, and she's got a story. You've got to hear her story about the book. telling me about the book, yeah. Because it's a good story. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, see, the thing, this, this is all about history. And, and history, and studying history, we hope that in studying our history that we do not repeat the mistakes of our past. Uh, yes, I was 17 at the time, and uh, for some reason I was under the bed of my mom and dad, and I ran across this book that was covered with plastic and a pop-up. And I brought the book out and started reading, and they saw me reading the book. Took the book away from me, told me they didn't want me to read the book. And curiosity just killed the cat, so I wanted to know why. And they said it was some very harmful things in the book, and they didn't want us to get emotional scarred by the book. And so eventually I did read the book and found out about the Scottsboro Boys. And from 17 years old up to now, it's been my dream to have a museum to honor the Scottsboro Boys. To think about the positive side of how it affects and changed the Constitution amendments to affect all of our lives. We're not focusing on any bad things. We're going after the change that this case brought about. Every time, so the civil rights movement not only is good for African Americans, but it empowers all kinds of of it and read it. And because of the story in that book, horrors and injustice depicted in that book, I decided to come to And I am just so proud of my hometown uh, today. And it's, it's just so nice to know that people in this community have come together to, uh, first of all, recognize the uh, South Carolina in so far as establishing laws that guarantee justice. It was, a, it was a dreadful, shameful time, you know, in our American history, but um, we need to get beyond that.